Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good evening. It's good to have you here. Uh, you know that there was a recent uh, a strong rain near my house, so I was wondering if I uh, was able to connect. But thank God it, ha it already finished, so we are ready to start the class. Okay? <clears throat> so, for today, it's good to have Roberto, Julie, Elizabeth, Noé. Uh, I'm very happy to have you here in class. And today we are going to start, uh, we are going to continue, let me see. We are going to continue and I want to share the part of the platform we are going to complete today, okay? Uh, so we finally arrived to the knowledge check, okay? After talking about diseases, after learning how to ask, how do you feel? And the uh, diseases vocabulary, now we are ready to do the knowledge check. <clears throat> and it says, uh, read the following questions. Write the best advice for each health problem. Remember to use the infinitive complement. You don't, uh, you don't have to rewrite. Uh, let's see, because I cannot read completely. You don't need to rewrite what is in brackets. ¿Verdad? No tiene que eh, reescribir lo que está en paréntesis. Entonces, ¿cuáles serían? Um, it's important to take, ¿verdad? It's important to drink. Recuerden que en esa parte, um, en la parte anterior a esta, teníamos los infinitive complements, ¿verdad? Aquí hay un video eh, donde se les muestra eh, how to ask and give advice. So that we are going to study today also how to ask and give advice. But to complete that section, what you need to see is to watch this video, okay? Para completar esa, esa sección, lo que tienen que hacer es ver este video. Eh, esta noche me voy a enfocar en give advice. Esta noche vamos a aprender cómo dar consejo. Entonces, eh, necesitamos ir, ir completando esta, esta parte, 2.6. <coughs> And then we go to 2.7, that it says, Um, in this conversation, you will listen to vocabulary related, um, you will listen to vocabulary related um, to containers, let's see, no, related to recent, um, and then uh, you will continue this part between a pharma, a ver, no entiendo esta parte, perdón, pero es que estoy leyendo la, ambas partes. Creo que la traducción no está... Hay algo que no me hace sentido. But the idea is that this is a conversation between a pharmacist and a customer. Uh, and they are talking about diseases, about health problems, and then the pharmacist is going to recommend uh, something to uh, drink to the lady. Okay? Esa es la idea. La idea es que vamos a reutilizar el vocabulario para dar sugerencias que un, eh, en este caso, un dependiente de farmacia le da a una cliente. The question, what do you suggest? ¿Qué sugiere? What do you suggest? That's the expression we are going to study today. Then you have a video in the platform. And finally, we are going to cover <clears throat> tonight lesson 2.9, which is in this part, participants will be introduced to use moral verbs, can, could, and may for requests and suggestions. And at the end, you have another uh, video where you will see the model verbs that we are going to study tonight. And then you will be ready, ready to 2.11 knowledge check. Okay, so that's uh, what you have in the platform. And then we will move to section number three. Okay, so what, what about my presentation? I'm going to stop share this and I'm going to have a new share for my, for my presentation. Okay, uh, tonight I'm going to introduce a modal verb or, um, or modal auxiliaries. Uh, let me put the complete screen. Okay, here you have uh, the modal can. We use the modal can to express ability, to express suggestion, 
or also to have a request, but this is an informal request, okay? For example, uh, he can find any street in London. So we are saying that he has the ability to find any street in London. He knows very well the city and the streets. Can, uh, you can take a taxi. That's a suggestion. For example, one per person can say, I need to go to this um, shopping center or to this mall and I don't know the city. So someone can say, you can take a taxi. And the other is uh, to request something. Can you take me to Victoria Station? For example, if we hire an hour uh, or a taxi and you can say, can you take me to Victoria Station? It's not so formal, but this is a request. Be able to. Um, entonces, can es poder, ¿verdad? Podemos decir <coughs> poder, habilidad, poder de sugerencia y poder de solicitud o requerimiento. Be able to. He is able to find any street in London. Also ability, ¿ok? Él es capaz de encontrar cualquier calle en Londres. Habilidad. Can't. This can't is the opposite of can, so it's the negative part. Uh, and I say, that story can be true. Certainty that something is impossible. Esa historia no puede ser cierta. Entonces yo tengo la certeza de que algo es imposible. Could. I could play tennis when I was younger. Could you take me to Victoria Station? Uh, you could take a taxi. So could is uh, in the case of, ab of ability, of expressing ability, is past, okay? But also can be a request, but this is a more formal request and a suggestion. For example, I could, I could play tennis when I was younger. Yo podía jugar tenis cuando era joven. Entonces, si ven, es habilidad, pero en pasado. Could you uh, take me to Victoria Station? ¿Me podría llevar a la estación Victoria? En ese caso, ese could es un <coughs> more formal request. Es una solicitud más formal, ¿verdad? Eh, you could take a taxi. ¿Podrías tomar un taxi? May. May is also a, a model that help us to uh, talk about possibility to talk about formal requests or permission. For example, it might be quicker to travel by train. Eh, Podría ser más rápido viajar por tren. May I come in? For example, when you are in a, in a meeting, eh, when there's a meeting and you go in, you say, may I come in? Puedo entrar? Knock, knock, may I come in? O toca usted la puerta, ¿verdad? Puedo entrar? Might. It might be quicker to travel by train. Eh, podría ser más rápido viajar por tren. Possibility. En el anterior es puede. Puede ser más rápido viajar por tren. Y este es podría. Must. You must be back at 10 o'clock. That's an obligation. You have to. No more than 10 o'clock. Uh, look at the snow. It must be good outside. This is to express certainty that something is happening. Debes estar de regreso a las 10 en punto. Esa es una obligación, ¿verdad? Que la mamá le dice, no después de esa hora. You have to. Tiene que. Um, it must be cold outside. Or for example, as I was saying that it was raining, I can say it's wet outside because it was raining. Okay? Podría eh, estar helado afuera. ¿Por qué? Look. Look at the snow. Vea la nieve. Have to. Have to, it's obligation also, and you say you have to be back at 10 o'clock. It's similar to must, okay? Needn't, it's the opposite of need. It's negative. It's lack of obligation. Aquí es no tienes que, no tienes la obligación de. You needn't have, you needn't have a university degree. No necesitas un título universitario to apply for this job, for example, para aplicar a este trabajo. You don't have uh, to call a taxi, lack of obligation. No tienes que pedir un taxi. Should, 
You should drive more carefully. Deberías manejar, manejar más cuidadosamente. It's opinion, it's advice. O2. O2 is similar to should. You ought to drive more carefully. Also, opinion and advice. Okay? <clears throat> so, I would like that you can repeat. Me gustaría que repitamos al menos cada una de estas antes de pasar a la siguiente parte de práctica. Okay? Can. Can. can be able to be, be able, able to, to. Can't. Can't. can't can vean la diferencia entre can o sea no abro mucho la boca can pero cuando yo digo can't hago un esfuerzo con la garganta y mis labios se estiran así como que estoy sonriendo entonces quiero hacer énfasis en esto porque eh, a veces cuando hablamos se confunde el can y el can't entonces, cuando queremos decir que no se puede, hay que hacer un esfuerzo para pronunciarlo muy bien y que quede claro, ¿verdad? So, can, can, can't, 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 have to, have, have to. to, need to, need to, need to. needn't, needn't, need mustn't. mustn't, don't have to, don't have, don't to. Don't have, have to. to, should, should, o to, o to. O to. O to. very good. Now, I have here some models of necessity and suggestion. Ya entrando un poquito más en materia y ya explorando más en relación a lo que nos piden en la plataforma, son models for necessity or suggestion. For example, when I want to describe a necessity, I say, you must have a, driver, a driver's license in order to drive a car, okay? Uh, you need to be 21 or over, okay, to get married for example. You have to get a passport if you want to travel. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get vaccinations if you don't want to, okay? For giving suggestion, you say, you'd better avoid the, the stones on the street. You ought to pack a first, aid, aid, a first aid kit. You should try some local specialty. You shouldn't carry a lot of cash, okay? Ese you'd better, esa contracción es, es you have better, ¿ok? You have better, you have better. Es you y luego have, el pasado de have. Eh, H, A, D, you have better. Avoid the stove on the street. Ok, very good. <clears throat> so here I have more examples of eh, just taking the ones for suggestion. Aquí solo hemos tomado los que son para sugerencia, ¿verdad? We use have better to give advice about a specific situation, not general ones. Aquí es como cuando estamos hablando, ¿y qué hubieras hecho tú? ¿Verdad? Example, you'd better tell her everything. Eh, le hubiera dicho todo, ¿verdad? Talking about a specific issue. Out to. It's used to advise or make, recommend, or make recommendations. It's similar to should, okay? Also expresses assumption or expectation as well as, well as a strong probability. You ought to stop smoking, recommendation. Debería parar de fumar, recomendación. This, this stock ought to increase in value. Este, eh, esta es existencia, ¿verdad? Hablando de productos. Eh, deberían incrementar en valor, eh, probabilidad. And should, we often use should when offering advice or opinion. Example, you should see the new James Bond movie. Movie, It's great. People should worry more about global warming. Okay? Eh, debería ver la nueva película de James Bond. Está grandiosa, está genial. La gente debería preocuparse más, worry more acerca del calentamiento global. Okay, very good. So, if you say teacher, but how I know which is stronger, which is weak, I don't know. Okay, I have here a scale that says that uh, ought to and should to are weaker. 
o sea, más débiles, ¿verdad? Porque con el ought to el, y el eh, should, yo no le estoy obligando, simplemente estoy diciendo un advice, un consejo, or a suggestion, una sugerencia, but I'm not making an obligation, no le estoy haciendo una obligación. Had better es eh, eh, fuera mejor, ¿verdad? Fuera mejor que hicieras tal cosa. Ya me estoy moviendo un poco de, de solo sugerirte a hacer un poquito más fuerte mi recomendación, pero todavía no es tan fuerte. Stronger is when I say have got to, have to, and must. Must, for example, eh, it says, you're, you must show your, pa your passport and travel documents eh, under the checkpoint. Por ejemplo, la gente que está viajando, usted debe presentar su pasaporte y documentos de viaje en el punto de chequeo, si no, no sale. Eh, you must take care of your luggage or the liquids eh, over 100 eh, ml. Okay? Debe eh, sacar de su maleta de mano los, eh, los líquidos mayores a 100 ml. De lo contrario, se los tiran o no viaja. Eso es un must, obligación. Just to give you uh, some examples. Okay, so that's the scale. Weaker, stronger. Eh, más débil, weaker. Más débil, stronger. Más fuerte. Okay? So, should. Eh, it's to give suggestions and friendly advice. Es una sugerencia y eh, un consejo de manera amigable. You should apply for that job. Deberías aplicar para ese trabajo. You should try that new restaurant. Deberías eh, probar ese nuevo restaurante. Out to. It's less frequent in American English, but in British English you can listen more frequently out to. You ought to call home. Deberías llamar a casa. You ought to be with me. Deberías estar conmigo. Have better. It's stronger. Here is an indirect treat. Boss, you had better finish that report. Deberías haber terminado ese reporte. That, you had better not hit your sister. Eh, no debería golpear a tu hermana. It's like a little bit stronger than should, okay? So I have here another examples of might. Eh, to we said that is to express possibility. It eh, can also use to make suggestions or requests. That must is to express certainty, to express necessity, or a strong recommendation. And in here, for example, if you tell me, teacher, but what are the examples? Um, I have, your purse might be in the living room. Tu cartera eh, podría, podría estar en el, en el salón, ¿verdad? En la sala. It's a possibility. Eh, if I didn't have to work, I might go with you. Si no hubiera tenido que trabajar, eh, podría eh, ir contigo. You might visit the botanical gardens during your visit. It's a suggestion. Mm, might I borrow your pen? That's a request. Must. This must be the right address. Certeza, ¿verdad? Esta debe de ser la dirección correcta. Students must pass at an entrance, entrance examination to study at this school. Los estudiantes deben pasar un examen de ingreso para estudiar en esta escuela. Uh, necessity. You must take some medicine for that cough. That's similar to the case that we are looking in the platform. Okay? That's a strong recommendation. Jenny, you must not pay in, play in the street. It's a prohibition. Okay? You must not or mustn't. Must not puede contractarse como mustn't. Okay? Okay, here I have extra examples. And I would like this time, let's see. Okay. Um, I would like to ask um, that voluntarily you see these examples and that you can uh, read at least one. Quiero que voluntariamente eh, vean estos ejemplos y que me lean al menos una de cada una para que se vayan familiarizando, porque luego vamos a hacer una conversación. Okay. So I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to read after my explanation, and then I want you to read at least one. Quiero que lean al menos una de cada grupo con can, could, may. 
en este caso. When you're ready, you raise your hand or you tell me, teacher, I'm ready to read. Okay, Elizabeth, okay. read for us and then uh, Roberto and then Noé. So teacher, I had to, to read the first, maybe okay. the explanation and then the examples. No, uh, no only, only the examples. Because I okay. get the explanation. One example of each category. Un ejemplo de cada categoría. Okay. Can. I can speak English. Okay. Cool. I could speak English. May. It may rain today. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Roberto. You're welcome. Okay. Can. Can I go to the cinema? Mm -hmm. Cool. I could go to the... I could... Go to the cinema mm -hmm. and may, may I go to the cinema. Okay, thank you. Very good. Noe? Um, <coughs> excuse me. I can leave you my car till tomorrow. Okay. Uh, could you wait a moment, please? May I help you? Okay, very good. Thank you. Katia. Can we visit grandma at the weekend? I could we visit grandma at the weekend? Mm -hmm. It may rain today. Okay, very good. Thank you, Katia. Let's see, Julie. Okay, may uh, it can get very hot in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Oh, and could you wait a moment, please? Mm -hmm. may, may I go to snap? Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, uh, Elizabeth already participated. Okay, I think all of you read at this one. Okay, very good. So let's advance. Avancemos en la siguiente. Uh, here, related to the topic of uh, having medicine, I have uh, brought you some modal verbs or med modal auxiliaries can, could, may, or for to request. For example, the pharmacy says, can I help you? Uh, ¿Puedo ayudarle? The customer can say, can, could, or may. For example, uh, the customer can say, could I have um, a cough uh, syrup or can I have some pills for the headache? Can I have some medicine for a stomach ache or so on? Uh, may, uh, may I have a bottle of aspirin? May I have a box of cough uh, drops? May I have a tube of skin, of skin cream? Okay, so that's the structure. Oops, sorry. Okay, so, <clears throat> I'm going to divide you in pairs, okay? I will make three rooms. So I want you to practice this conversation between uh, the pharmacist and Mrs. and Mrs. Webb. So what do you suggest is the name of the, of the conversation. So you can change if you want, you can change a little bit the conversation. If not, you can keep it that way. But maybe you can change, uh, the disease or the type of medicine do you recommend if you are the pharmacist and so on, okay? Lo voy a dividir en parejas, ¿verdad? Voy a hacer tres, tres eh, classrooms eh, para que puedan practicar. Eh, uno juega el rol del farmacista, la otra persona hace el rol de Mrs. Webb. Ustedes pueden innovar la conversación agregándole otros nombres de enfermedades o por tanto otros nombres de medicamentos. But I want you to, to speak, okay? And I want that you get in pairs and you can speak English and then present before the class. So I will do the breakout rooms. Oops. Three, okay? And there you have the conversation.
my dear Juni. Yes, teacher. Uh, could you please to join with uh, Elizabeth? Yes. Okay. I am. Uh, you just have to say to to click join. Yes, I format format. Hi. Hi. ¿Qué pasó, Yuli? No se pudo unir. No. Busque la opción de unirse. Join. Tiene que haberle llegado como una invitacióncita para unirse al, al break, breakout room. Pero no, ya no me sale. Vamos a ver. Ya. Ya, ahora sí. Breakout. Es que no me da la opción a mí de mover. Solo me da de moverla. Pero no la quiero mover. No. Elizabeth. Yeah, I was alone. I'm so, sorry, can you join again? Because Julie moved. Al final Julie no se podía mover, pero ya se movió al salón. ¿Puede, puede hacerlo usted? No, teacher. I think uh, break a room. Yeah, break a room. Yes. yes. Please.
and Noe, are you practicing? Yes, yes, teacher. Very good. How how long uh, do you need? How long will it take? ¿Cuánto tiempo más le va a tomar? I, I think to be the big boss, uh, with the uh, characters. Two more minutes. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, I will leave you to continue practice. I will, okay. Very okay. good, let's continue. Okay. So I... Hi, teacher. No se escucha, teacher. Your, your microphone is off, teacher. Okay, but you can practice yourself. I will mute myself because I'm going to the break rooms. Me voy a poner mute porque me estoy moviendo en los... Ah, okay. En los break up rooms. Ajá, entonces ustedes practiquen, no hay problema. Okay. So, Julie, hi. May I help you? Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yes, please. Would I have something for a blue? Well, I suggest a box of these. Arnold, are you alone? Está solito, Arnold. Can you can you listen? Can you listen to us? Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, if you are alone, you can go to the main session. Okay. My my sister has no urgent this day. Can you suggest anything? Yes. She should try some of these um, bottle of vitamins. They're, they, they're excellent. Okay, thank you so much. May I have four lay bottles, please? Yes, of course. It's okay. a pleasure for us. Thank you. You're welcome. No se escucha, teacher. In 36 seconds, we are going to be together in order to practice. So Katia is still in the breakout room number one. So let's wait for Katia. Okay, how was the practice? Could you complete the conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So I would like to know who would like to start. Quienes quieren comenzar? Okay, Elizabeth, are you ready to start with Julie? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Help. Yes. Help you. Perdón que help, le you. help you. Uh -huh. Help you. Yes, please. Could I have something for a stomach? Well, I suggest 
I have both of the <laughs> Maybe a bottle of Pepto Bismol. Ranitidin Pepto Bismol. <laughs> okay, well, I suggest a box of the Ranitidin. Thank you. And what do you suggest for a headache? Try some of this new Aceramine. Yeah, Ceraminophen or Tylenol, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or oh, Uh-huh. Okay, and one more thing. My sister has a um, bad cake these, uh, these days. Can you suggest anything? Yes, she should try some of the... Great. May I have three or oh, three large box of that, please? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your help. <laughs> okay, very good. I like that, that you innovate the conversation, Elizabeth and Julie. You were great. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay, who else? Uh, I don't know if Noe and Katia are ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Okay. okay. Hi. Um, I start. Hi. <laughs> okay. Go hi. Ahead. May I help you? Uh, help you, help you. Help you. Yeah. May I help you? For a, for a headache? Well, I, I suggest I, a box of aspirin. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And what do you suggest for a, for a backache? Try some of this new injection. It's very yeah. good. Oh, oh no, I don't like injection. <laughs> okay. You I'm can try. <laughs> okay. Nyaka nyaka. Nyaka nyaka. Solo es receta. <laughs> Algo así. Okay. Okay. Um, you try with with how do you say relajante muscular? A muscle relaxing uh, pills or Pio. injection? Pills. Muscle <laughs> <laughs> relaxing pills. Muscle, aha. Uh -huh. Muscle um, relaxing pills. Rela relaxing. Pills. Relax relaxing pills. pills. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. <laughs> and, and one more thing. Uh, uh, what do you suggest for how more energy? You should try some of these vitamins. Vitamins, multivitamins. Vitamins, multivitamins. They are excellent. Uh, oh, great. Uh, may I have a large bottle, please? Three, three large. Three large. Oh, 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 or one, depending. Solo, solo uno. Only one. Or, so may I have one okay. large bottle? Okay. <laughs> okay, one large bottle, please. Okay. okay, very good. I like your conversation. You also innovate, okay? <laughs> and Katia put in, in problems to everybody because every everybody was like in, like like this. Oh no, injection no. Injection no. <laughs> Okay, very good. Nice, good job. Okay, let's see. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Roberto, were you working with Arnold, Roberto? Hello. Hi, teacher. 
Uh, uh, were you able to co to complete the conversation together? Yes, I practiced, but we practiced according to the I'm emails. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You decide who starts first. Okay, Arnold. Hi. <sighs> okay. Hi. May I have you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a call? I think I'm carrying a call. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And uh, what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this and new lotion is very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. 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 They are excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, very good. Nice. I like that you practice. Very good. Okay, now we finish this uh, section uh, of the practice. And I want to go back to the platform for you to see. Um, where are we going right now? Let's see if I can go. Okay, very good. So now we can reach section 2.11, knowledge check. And you can use now can, could, may, have, and try or suggest or should. Because remember, <coughs> excuse me, that this is a mixture uh, of the practice of the class plus uh, the watching and listening of the videos that are available in the platform. So you can complete now this section. Uh, it has uh, three exercises that you have to complete with uh, can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should, okay? So that's your task. If you have any uh, problem or uh, technical difficulty, you can ask. You can tell us in, uh, in order to support you. Or even if you have a problem that you don't have the right answer, we can discuss in the group. Because remember that this is a collaborative group. This is a, a learning community. So we can uh, cooperate uh, each other in order to learn. Okay, after that, you have section 2.12 that says that in this class or in this session, participants will develop listening for a specific information. So this is a very specific listening exercise where you need to have uh, availability of the app for you to listen in your computer or in your cell phone, um, the short uh, audios in order to then answer properly. For example, the man's uh, feet are sore, the man's feet are itchy. You need to identify the two words. Sore, you know that it's pain. Es como dolor, ¿verdad? Itchy es picazón cuando me pica algo, ¿verdad? Eh, the woman can't eat. Recuerden el can't. No puede comer. Can't. Ahí tienen que estar bien eh, acute with your eh, ear in order to identify that can or can't. The woman has eh, an upset stomach. Okay? The man has difficulty sleeping. The man is sleeping too much. So they are opposite. So you need to be careful to see which is the right answer. Therefore, it says the woman burned her hands. Se quemó la mano. Or the woman has a bad sunburn. Es diferente, ¿verdad? Uh, burn her hand es se quemó la mano. If the woman has a bad sunburn, es que me, me fui a la playa y me quemé demasiado, ¿verdad? Una insolación que me quemó la piel. Okay, that's uh, the part that I will ask you to please complete uh, for this week. <clears throat> and then we will move to uh, lesson objective 3.0. And it says that in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. Words uh, such as so, to, neither, either will be introduced. Okay? So, but before we advance, I would like to ask if you have any question about today's class and until 
eh, session number two. Me gustaría saber, eh, antes de avanzar, si tienen preguntas acerca de la clase de hoy en cuanto a estructura, ¿verdad? O de los temas anteriores de la unidad, de la sesión, sección 2. Si todo está claro, pasaríamos, al menos haríamos la introducción de la, de la sección 3, ¿verdad? Porque ya por el tiempo no vamos a poder avanzar mucho, pero quiero asegurarme que no tienen ninguna duda sobre los modals. Y si la tienen o sobre yes, la plataforma, yes, lo it's podemos ver. It's very clear. Ok, very good. Uh, thank you so much. So I will stop this here. Vamos a, a, a dejar esta presentación hasta acá. And then let me open my next PPT. Ok. <clears throat> so, today I'm going to introduce uh, two words. Uh, so and to. Ok. So and to are used to show agreement with positive statements say by a person. For example, person A uh, says, I am happy. You say, so I am. Es como, yo también, ¿verdad? <coughs> yo también estoy feliz. Eso es equivalente o una respuesta cortita para decir, para no decir la, la respuesta larga, I am happy too, ¿verdad? Pero es decir exactamente lo mismo. You are making a noise. So are you. You are making a noise too. I need more money. So do I. I need more money too. Uh, Steve likes pizza. So does, so does Mar Mary. Mary likes pizza too. I was, try I was tired this morning. So I was. I was tired too. It means I was tired too. Yo también, ¿verdad? O yo también estaba cansado. We were late. So were they. They were, it means... It equals to they were late too. I watched a movie last night. So did I. It's equal to say I watched a movie too. She can play the, the guitar. So I so can I. It's equal to say I can play the guitar too. Uh, we could see the stars. So could I. It's equal to say I could see the stars too. She will win an award. So will I. It equals to I will win an award too. I would like a cup of coffee. So would I. I would like a cup of, a cup of coffee too. Uh, he should study more. Uh, so should I. I should study more too. They have finished early. So have I. I have finished early too. He had eaten too much. So had I. I had eaten too much too. And here it says, uh, sometimes you can use so plus the auxiliary plus subject, okay? So plus the auxiliary. In this case, the, ver the auxiliary can be the verb be or the verb does or the verb did if it's in past. Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? No estamos you don't share the, your presentation. Sorry. Con razón yo decía, ¿por qué están tan calladitos? Ahí está. Ahora sí lo pueden ver. Ok, sorry. Ahí está. Bueno, les leí básicamente eh, la, la persona A, luego la persona B y, le, y lo que era igual, ¿verdad? Sometimes you can use so, aquí está la estructura, so, plus auxiliary, que el auxiliary puede ser am, are, do, does, Uh, if it's past, did, or can be an, a modal verb also. Can, could, will, would, should, have, or had, if it's past. As a continuation of the first part of the sentence. John uh, can sing well, and so can his brother. John can sing well, and his brother can sing well too. Eso es equivalente, ¿verdad? Es igualito. Yo puedo decir una oración más corta diciendo, John can sing well. And so can his brother, y ese can me resume, eh, his brother can sing well too. 
¿verdad? Eh, entonces, pero eh, es igual, es exactamente si yo digo, John can sing well and so his brother, and so can his brother, estoy diciendo John can sing well, John puede cantar bien, and his brother can sing well too, y su hermano puede cantar bien también, pero lo puedo reducir diciendo, so can his brother, ¿verdad? Su hermano también puede. Ok, so I want you, in the minutes we have, quiero que hagamos el ejercicio eh, de decir al menos una. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I am happy, eh, you say, eh, so I am, I am happy too, right? Eh, quiero que digan las tres, ¿verdad? Para que puedan familiarizarse, uno cada uno, por lo menos. Me teacher. Okay, Julie, go ahead. I was tired this morning. So was I. I was tired too. Tired. Tired. No, tired. Tired. Yeah. So so. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you, Julie. Next, next uh, volunteer. Next participant. Roberto. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, I need more money. Mm -hmm. So do I. And I need more money too. Okay, very good. Thank you, Roberto. Next volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Noe. Uh, he had eaten so much. So had I. I had eaten too much too. Very good. Thank you, Noe. Okay, let's see. Uh, Katia, would you like to participate with one? Or Elizabeth? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, so my mother is happy, so am I. Very good. You say, I am happy too. Very good. Uh, Katia? Steve likes pizza. Mm -hmm. So does Mary. Mary likes pizza too. Okay, very good. So if you see, we have been able to introduce uh, so and to, okay? So tomorrow we are going to continue practicing uh, this in a conversation maybe, and we are going to introduce neither and either, okay? But this is going to be tomorrow. Uh, by now, I appreciate that you um, came to class, that you participate actively, you actively participate in everything I ask for, so that's part of your learning for speaking English during this time. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a nice rest and uh, we continue then. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye.